गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज अ वेरी 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 वार्म वेलकम फ्रॉम गोवा सो आई एम हेयर इट गोवा टू सेलिब्रेट न्यू ईयर्स विथ माई डियर्स हजबेंड एंड आई एम सुपर एक्साइटेड एंड आर प्लान हेयर टू स्टे एट गोवा फॉर अराउंड फाइव डेज एंड टू डेज डे वन सो राइट नाउ विल बी हेडिंग टूवर्ड साउथ गोवा सो फर्स्ट विल बी चेकिंग एट अ होटल विल एक्सप्लोर द प्रॉपर्टी एंड देन विल एक्सप्लोर द बीचेज सो नाउ इफ यूज अ थिंकिंग विल बी टेकिंग अ कैब फ्राम हेयर देन नो वी हैव बुक एंड हायर अ बाइक फ्राम हेयर कैब्स आर एक्सपेंसिव या एंड बाइक्स आर लाइक एट हंड्रेड टू नाइन हंड्रेड रुपीज अ डे एंड आई एम ऑल्सो एक्साइटेड फॉर अ लॉन्ग बाइक राइड फ्राम हेयर टू साउथ गोवा बिकॉज इट इज ऑलमोस्ट टू आवर्स फ्राम हेयर सो लेट्स बिगिन द जर्नी आई एम हेयर इट गोवा टू सिक्स ईयर्स सो आई वॉज सुपर एक्साइटेड फॉर दिस ट्रिप थिंग्स आई एब्सोल्युटली लव अबाउट गोवा रोड्स एंड क्लोज बाई ग्रीनरी ब्यूटिफुल एंड वाइब्रेंट हाउसेज एंड ऑफकोर्स गो एंड फूड I suggest hiring a scooter and go wherever you want to go and plus it's a very smart and economical decision. Did you hear that? These kids are shouting old man old man. Interesting. And there's a story behind it. And I will talk about this a bit later. We also came across a shortcut and a very bumpy road thanks to Google Maps. and there's koshi over there trying to start the bike and ride it carefully after 2 hours of bike ride finally we arrived at our destination so we have just reached the resort and do not go by my appearance i'm really exhausted and tired it was like whole 2 hours of long bike ride but yeah the resort is on the agonda beach and it has a shack attached to it so let me just give you a tour So this is the entrance to the resort which is at Goa's best kept hidden beaches Agonda Beach away from the hustle bustle of the city Just imagine enjoying a soothing sunset with your favorite drink on the beautiful white sand with your loved ones The cottage is well lit and decorated with cozy wooden bed, cupboard, attached bathroom and the beautiful porch. So right now I'm at my room relaxing and chilling. But before I go take a shower and then head towards the beach, I just want to talk to you about something really interesting that uh, I've observed during our bike ride which we wouldn't have observed if we would have opted for cab. The first thing that we have observed where the houses here the houses here are so pretty like they are so colorful so vibrant they have decorated their houses so well in fact they have their own real christmas tree which they have decorated with christmas ornaments it was very pretty it was very very colorful then the second thing which we have observed here where how the women were dressed up in mean, their beautiful uh, printed floral hand tailored dresses which i have only seen in movies like i've never seen anywhere uh i've seen movies like josh But then the third most interesting thing that i have observed where the kids asking for donations on the street by ambushing every passing vehicle they tried ours also but we somehow managed to you know escape and they were also keeping an effigy of an old man beside them uh i don't know the story behind this like exact story behind this but all i got to know they burned those old man like effigy of old man in the midnight so i would recommend bike ride more than cab ride or taking a car but bike ride is a must in goa you have your own personal experience i had my own today so it might be exhausting it might be tiresome but it will be very worthful so i've just got freshened up i'm feeling so good now <laughs> and yeah i'm going to head towards the beach shack and grab some food i'm really very hungry probably my husband already grabbed something might have he might have grabbed beer and some food um yeah i'm going to head towards the beach shack and then we'll come back take some rest and then uh we'll get dressed up and we'll head towards the palolem beach and then the agonda beach so yeah let's go get some food 
A breakfast or any meal with a beach or sea view at Goa is something to die for. on the beach I'm all dressed up I have done my photo shoots and the best part about this beach is that it is not at all crowded I'm loving it I have done my photo shoots peacefully so let me show you how the beach looks Agonda Beach is one of the beach in Goa which is a turtle nesting site and every nesting season turtles can be spotted clambering up the beach. This is the reason why this beach has no shops, pubs or restaurants, only few beach shacks. That is our shack and behind that is where we are staying. They have these boats here already set up to make you explore the nearby islands and the backwaters. So right now we are heading towards Palolem beach just to check if there is going to be any party for tonight and if there is going to be any party there we, defi we are definitely going to head there else we will stay back here and we will chill here and we will celebrate our new years. So Agonda beach is for those people who want to avoid crowd and especially during this pandemic time and want some peace I am literally loving this place because I'm one of them I wanted to avoid crowd and wanted some peace so if you guys are heading towards South Goa definitely check this place out and in fact if you are planning for some photo shoots you will not find any distractions you will love it you can do your photo shoots peacefully check the place out it's so beautiful We are now heading towards Palolem beach which is a straight road from Agonda and it took 20 minutes to reach there. We have parked our bike and now walking towards the beach and we can already hear some music playing. The Palolem beach is at extreme south Goa and the place was really crowded and livelier than Agonda beach. This beach is enclosed with palm trees and colorful wooden shacks. So we are now here at Palolem beach. Um, it's much more busier and uh, very crowded compared to Agonda beach. But yeah, like I love the vibe. It, it has great food options. People are here swimming and doing water activities. And what we have finally decided for New Year's is that we will stay back at uh, Agonda because we, we are preferring a place which is peaceful and not much crowded and here is very much crowded so yeah we will be staying back at Agonda for New Year's. We are now here at Cafe Del Mar for lunch. We ordered calamari pizza and lunch like this with a beautiful view of beach is something I'll cherish forever. The sun is about to set and that view was so mesmerizing. It's time for us to head back to our resort and get ready for the New Year's Eve dinner. Hey, 
ये रेस्टोरेंट वालों ने पूरा मस्त सेटअप बनाया है विद द कैन लाइट डिनर एंड बॉल फायर इट्स परफेक्ट इट्स वेरी रिलैक्सिंग एंड लाइक द वे वी वांट टू स्पेंड आर न्यू ईयर Good morning. It's day two from Goa, and right now we're going outside to grab some food. Probably, most probably, a vegan food at Palolem, and I somehow convinced Kaushik to have vegan food as well. So, yeah, let's go. So we have found out this cute quirky decor cafe called Little World, and it's very pretty, very cute, very tiny. I'll just show you how it looks. Little World is a sweet little vegetarian and vegan cafe with quirky decor and an innovative menu. So right now we are here at Cabo de Rama Fort. It's a Portuguese fort. I mean, say ये जगह. मतलब it's great. Like if you are if you want to be away from the crowd and just enjoy the cool breeze and water. Also, I heard there is a way down to the beach by the stairs. So let's find out that. The fort is now in ruins, but the most interesting part of this place is the sea which lies down the fort. The path that leads down to the sea is a beauty to behold. You can spend your time here sitting on the rocks watching the sunset. So we are here now down the fort. It's not actually a beach. It's like a a sea full of rocks. It is very beautiful. The view from the top is amazing. After spending some time here and drinking coconut water, we are now heading towards our next and last location of the day. Right now we are heading towards Kola Beach, but the road to Kola Beach is very uneven, very bumpy, and it's very difficult for four wheelers. Two wheelers may have no itam problem ho raha. I'm walking right now. So finally we are here. It's a struggle to get here. We reached here. The beach better be beautiful. <laughs> Kola Beach is one of the most beautiful beaches of Goa. Surrounded by the ocean, coconut trees, and the best part is the emerald green lagoon which resides in this beach. You can also go for swimming in this beautiful lagoon. The lagoon actually reminded me of Kerala's backwater river. Had a really great time since morning. Now we are all tired and now we're heading back to our resort. Uh, we'll have some drinks, just chill at the beach and yeah, watch the sunset there. So the fanny is here. Let's see how it tastes. It tastes like vodka. A bit strong, but not bad. Good.
Good morning, guys. Today it's day three, and today we are leaving from this place. Uh, I'll miss the beaches. I'll miss this place. I'll miss South Goa. It was a really great experience here. And right now we're heading to a shack to have some breakfast, and then we'll check out from this place. So we had our breakfast, checked out from the hotel, and now we are leaving to the next destination. So see you there in my next vlog.